M0 FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0 FXB. So let's configure our hotspot so that our DMR radio can shut it down and reboot it. So first thing you do is go to configuration, put in the password, which is pi dash star, and then raspberry. Let's hit sign in. Uh, it's lowercase, that's what it is. Pi dash star. And raspberry. Sign in. Okay, that gets you to the config page. Right, so with all our normal settings in for a DMR radio, look, DMR, OLED, just select MMDV here, frequency, DMR number, call sign, and then here, this is the important one, radio modem. Uh, Bandmeister 231 we're on, and we've got our self-care password in. And that's the usual. But anyway, we're going to go to expert, expert here. And then we're going to get the warning, and then we're going to look for Pi Star Remote, which is here. Pi Star Remote, there you go. This was put in so that repeater keepers could control their repeaters better, but it's handy for hotspots at home as well. So we're going to go down to DMR. I'm just going to make sure that this has been, this hash has been removed. Okay, just remove that hash. The rest are okay. We're only going to use reboot and shut down anyway. Then the other thing we need to do is change this. See, it says false. We need to change that to true. T R lowercase u true, like so. Uh, and we're going to need to put our call sign in there. M zero F X B. Once we've done that, we can uh, apply the changes. And obviously, that takes a couple of minutes. You can see it twirling here while it's applying. So the next part of the video will be actually using the radio to do the commands, and shut down and reboot the, uh, the hotspot. Let's create our shutdown and reboot channel in our DMR radio, Anytone 878. So we'll go to the contact group first here. We'll create two contacts. So double click and we'll create one called shut down and uh, it's a private call and we'll and the uh, the number is six nines and then a six that's shut down click okay and then another one this one's going to be called reboot reboot we'll call it pi star or this pi will do private and it's a seven this time, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. Click OK, because we can't create the channels without the contact numbers, which is basically, it's almost like a talk group number. Anyway, go to channel. So we're going to create a new channel. We need to go to the bottom of our channel list. It's quite a long channel list here. And we're going to create a frequency the same as our hotspot. We're not using a repeater, we're using a hotspot, so it'll be the same as that. Let me get to it. Right, double click at the bottom here, 1167. And we want the same frequency, so 431.550. Type that wrong. Same again. Zero. And we're going to create a contact here. And we're looking for that 999, so hopefully it's in the nines. Uh, there it is there, shut down, and we'll call it shut down as well, shut down pi, okay, um, slot 2 we'll go for, leave the slot 1 alone, everything else looks fine to me, the most important is selecting shut down and obviously the frequency of the hotspot. So that's okay, and then we've got to create another one. I wonder if we can copy and paste. Copy, paste, and then double click it, and then we'll just change it to re reboot, pi, and this time we'll select shut down, go right to the bottom, and we'll select the one that's called reboot. 
Uh, there is that. Reboot. <clears throat> uh, slot do da da da. Reboot Pi, and that's an OK. So we've created the channel, and then to find it easily, I'm going to create a zone called a new zone just called Pi Control or Remote Control. So we'll double click here, we'll call it Remote Control. Remote Pi, I'll call it. Remote Pi, and then we'll go all the way to the bottom, select those two channels, and we'll click OK. That means when we go into our radio, and I'll show you when I do it. When we, go, when we go through the zones, we'll select the zone that's called Remote Pi, and then we'll only find those two channels in it that are going to control it. I think there's more than two controls you can do, but for the video, I'm just doing two. So now we've just got to go um, plug our radio into the computer and find it in the device manager, and then write to radio, uh, and that's us done. Move on to the next part. To our radio, we'll go to the zone that's called shut down pi and then we will we've only got two channels so reboot pi let's select reboot pi secret not found and this is what you hear it says secret not found and then it will reboot it if you go to shut down pi And it was secret not found and it will say secret not found so uh, yeah fingers crossed let's see if this works seven three all the best uh, give me uh, a message if it doesn't work all the best